Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. So in the last tutorial, we have understood the key sections of the robot file. Now let's go ahead and create our first script and then we'll try to execute the script in Robot Framework. Now I'll start with very basic script to launch a browser, open the URL and close the browser just to give you a brief introduction how you will be able to write the script and then how you will be able to execute the script and analyze the results after the execution. So this is not the actual uh, test. This is very briefly to explain you how you will be able to create the first script. So first script what we are doing is so in robot if you see this particular file so google search dot robot so um, what we are going to do is we are going to import the library or the selenium library first before we can start launching the browser uh, passing on the details or uh, opening the website that we are looking for and then closing the browser so the first uh, section would be in the settings i'll just say library so if you start typing library right it will pop up the detail just after typing the l if you hit enter it will put two spaces after the library because you need two spaces after the library or any keyword that you are using in robot framework and then i'll say selenium library okay so that's basically imported the selenium library so selenium library is not the built-in library of the robot framework it's an external library and that's the reason we need to install the selenium library when we install the robot framework as well right so when we install the robot framework it installed the robot built-in libraries and then when we install selenium library it's the external library that we imported into the robot framework so now in the variable section we are not putting any variable we'll directly come to the test case section now below the test case section you provide the name of your test case so i'll say this is sample test case all right and then in the test case you can specify the documentation as well right so you just hit tab and start typing documentation hit enter and then you'll notice that there are two spaces already added so you need to add two spaces after each command that you are typing in and i'll provide the documentation as uh, google test and then hit return and then i'll also add the tags so i'll just say this is regression okay just add one tag now the next step is to analyze what all the key what all keywords are present so we have imported selenium library and let's see what all keywords are available in selenium library now selenium library is an external library and there are the keywords in the robot framework as well which are built-in keywords so let's understand some of the keywords that we are going to use in this test let me open google chrome here i am on the robot framework library section and on the library section you will see that there are standard and external libraries so if you go to external library then you will in the selenium library section click on that and you'll go through the documentation here so in the documentation section if you go to the keyword documentation click on the keyword documentation for the available keywords scroll down a little bit and you'll find the shortcut section which will give you a detail of all the keywords that are available in Selenium library, right? So if you see here, you have close all browser, close browser. These are the keywords that we can use in our script. Similarly, if you search for open browser, you will see that open browser, open context menu is also available. If you want to see the details of arguments that are required in these keywords, if you click on this, you will see these are the arguments that are required and then it will provide you a lot of documentation and understanding of, about these keywords and how they can be used so here you can see that browser you can use firefox or ff google chrome or chrome or gc you can specify any of these names for specifying the browser so let's use open browser and close browser in our test case 
and write our first script okay so let's go back to uh, pycharm and we know now that there is a keyword open browser so we'll just say open browser and then two spaces right and here we'll provide the path for google.com and then two spaces again and specify the browser on which you want to run this particular test case i'll run this on chrome and we have downloaded this chrome driver already so th which is stored in uh, the specific location which we have added in the path so if you are not sure how it has been done please go through the initial tutorials of this series and then hit return and we'll use the keyword close browser which is also a keyword that is available in selenium library right so that's the simple test we are doing at the moment we are just opening the browser um, two spaces then they specify the the url that we are going to open again two spaces and the browser name that we are going to launch and then we are closing the browser okay so let's save this file and then run this particular test case so to run this test case go to the terminal in pycharm and then just type in robot minus d and provide the name of the folder where you want to store the results so in my case i am storing it in the results direct directory and then provide the path for the test cases so path for the test case google search is in the tests uh, then the folder is google then functional test suite and then the name of the test so google search dot robot okay and hit enter and now so there is some error let's see where the error is so as you can see there is an error in the spelling functional test suite so let's correct that and rerun the test so i'll just say functional yeah that should be fine now and hit return and now you will see that the browser is being launched google has been open google.com and the browser has been closed so now you can see in the console here that google search test has passed and one has passed only one test case was there and zero has failed right now after running this particular test case the results are stored in the results directory here so if i open the report.html file so just right click click on open in browser and i'll open it in firefox and it will show the results of the execution right so you don't have to generate any sort of report or import any external reporting uh, library so once you have uh, imported the robot framework or once you have set up the robot framework and selenium library it automatically generates the screenshots and reports for you so this is very nice report um, html report which has the status shows the status of all the test cases when the test cases started when it they ended what time it took and the log file so if you go to the log.html it will show you all the details then in the test statistics section you will see all test statistics what how much time each test took what is the tag or what is the name of the test case and in the log.html if you see you will be able to expand the logs and see the keywords how each keyword behave which keyword um, worked fine and if there is any keyword that is failing that will be marked as red and the screenshot will be attached accordingly so this all functionality is by default provided by the robot framework and you don't need to do any extra configuration to configure the re reports in robot framework so this is very basic first test case in robot framework and how you are going to write the test case in robot framework and execute it and where and go through the reports in robot framework so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching